Okay, we are here with uh, Jeff Ukwacha after the uh, Homeboys KCB game. Uh, how was the game for you guys? Uh, the game was tough. Uh, it was a tough match. Uh, apparently, uh, our boys woke up a little bit too late. Uh, but uh, all in all, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a good platform to learn uh, going forward because we have like six more games to play. Yes. And we are, we are hoping and uh, we have faith that uh, we'll reach the knockout stage yes. and probably go ahead and uh, win the title. Okay. Yeah. And uh, speaking of winning the title, uh, I believe maybe you have a strong squad, but uh, do you think uh, this will be the year you guys might uh, tick that box? Yeah, uh, this might be the year we will tick that box, uh, considering uh, that uh, we have a good squad as well. Uh, so the boys just need to put in a, a little bit of more hard work. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. We're good to go all the way and win the Kenya Cup season this, this, this time around. Okay. And uh, outside of uh, homeboys, uh, you're now uh, consistently, consistently pay, playing for the Kenya Sevens. Uh, How has the experience been for you, you guys, for you personally this season? Uh, it's a good feeling playing uh, out there. Uh, the, the, the energy out there, the positive vibe, uh, uh, getting the, getting to experience all different kinds of people. So it's, it's a good feeling for me and uh, also a good opportunity to showcase my talent out there and uh, give the best I can give to my country. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, can you just give us a brief history of uh, from your progression from where you started your rugby journey to now playing in the, at the world stage? Uh, I started my rugby journey back in high school. Uh, I was playing in Yabondo High School back in Kisumu. I uh, played there in Form 1 and Form 2. Then later on moved to Lake Ipe Airbase, where I also played uh, rugby there in Form 3. And then uh, I didn't play in Form 4. I immediately after high school, I joined a club in Nanyuki called uh, Nanyuki Jackals. I played there for uh, a couple of months and then uh, I was spotted by the under 19. I came uh, for the trials in Nairobi. And then uh, after that, I was, uh, I was spotted by Homeboys and they approached me. I uh, actually played for them uh, one game and that's how I joined Homeboys. So luckily, lucky, luckily enough, uh, I, was, I, was, I was called uh, to captain the under 19 side. Okay. Uh, that was the 2014 2015 season. Yes. And then uh, after that, uh, during the 2015 season, I got my call up to the sevens team for the first time. And I played during that season. Uh, I played the Cape Town. Uh, Dubai game, the Dubai Cape Town game that is. Yes. Uh, after that, uh, I was dropped again in the team uh, last season, but then got a call up again this season. So that has been my journey so far, uh, rugby wise, and yes. and how I've made it to the to the to the World Rugby Series. Okay. Yeah. And uh, being a strong uh, ball carrier and a, a strong centre, uh, what does it take for you to uh, play at that high level, that position? What can you uh, impact, uh, tell other players wanting to play at your level, what does it take? Uh, first, it takes, uh, it takes a lot of uh, humility, you have to be humble, uh, you have to be humble yourself, uh, like uh, get, to, get to know, get to get advice from everyone, despite uh, how young or how talented they are, you, you just need to take advice. Uh, after being humble, you have to put in the hard work, uh, it, it, it takes a lot of work to, to, to like, uh, get to to play in that kind of level yeah so you have to put in the hard work and uh, be disciplined of course i get to know uh, uh, what uh, what you need to do or what uh, particular time like um, if it's time for for your recovery that's very important so you need to be disciplined uh, there's no one who's who's going to police you around so it just it, it, it takes it takes a self-initiative for you to be disciplined and uh Put in the hard work, and then uh, most of all, uh, just pray to your God. And uh, thanks for my workout for you, and uh, definitely you get there one day. Okay. Yes. And uh, going into Sydney Sevens, uh, I'm sure there might be some uh, things that you didn't get right in the past tournament. Uh, what's uh, what's the key lessons for you going into Sydney and the rest of the legs? What do you guys uh, want to achieve? Um, like uh, the, the captain said, uh, that is Oscar Yodi, yes. that is, this season we are, target, we are targeting 100 plus points. Yes. So uh, I believe uh, the, the, the hard work we've been putting in uh, during the training 
see sessions after after the the, the captain servants uh, will probably amount to 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 good results in Sydney. I have I have I have a, a lot of faith and. Uh, I have belief in that the boys uh, travelling to Cape Town Seven, to to Sydney Sevens, that is, uh, will will do the country proud and uh, will will be working towards achieving the hundred points that uh, we set as a target this season. Okay. Yeah. And uh, just uh, reflecting back on uh, Cape Town, uh, there was a viral photo of you and uh, Wana Kok. Uh, having a, a sit down with each other uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you just share a brief story of uh, what was the story behind it uh, <laughs> the story behind it is uh, pretty simple uh, it's all about ball carrying so <laughs> that was a big hit on on on, on him yes. and he wasn't ha he wasn't so happy about it yes. so he wanted to fight me uh, calling himself king yes. But uh, at the end of it, I, I told him like I'll, I'll, I'll make you any day, all day. So yeah. you're not king to me. Yeah. yeah. So that is why he was so he was so furious and so agitated uh, to a point where he wanted to f uh, probably fight me or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, South Africa have been a bogey team for us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think uh, it will take for us to unlock to unlock their defense and just beat them? Um, yes, South Africa has, has been a bogey team to us, but uh, all I can say is uh, they, they thrive on the little mistakes we make. Because uh, if you look at most of these games, uh, they, they, they don't really score off a, a structured uh, kind of play, set play. Like uh, they, 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 they like uh, target the, the, the breakdowns. Uh, and uh, those those uh, loose offloads and uh, such stuff like that. So uh, we've been working towards uh, uh, we've been working on our breakdowns uh, so much and uh, keeping ball in contact as well. So I'm pretty sure if we meet them the next time round, uh, it, it is going to it is it is going to be a different ball game all all in all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you see the the thriving on uh, using the breakdown. Yeah. Is there any chance you guys might uh, bring back the Chokesha? Because I, I saw that in in Cape Town they were using the Chokesha tactic on you guys, and when you went into contact, they either ripping the ball or yeah. Is there anything? Because I believe uh, we can also use the same tactic. Or what can we do to be better defensively? Uh, defensively, we'll just have to like uh, talk more on defense, yeah. and everyone has to be on their feet. Like uh, you, you just try and stay alive as much as you can yeah. on defense. Yeah. And uh, uh, when we are attacking, and as much as they're using that uh, Chukesha method, as you say, uh, we have strong ball carriers, and I believe uh, if we if we work on if we work on uh, in, in threes as we. We've been training uh, back in the in the, in the in the training camps and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to secure our balls and uh, play off that because uh, we have really strong ball carriers and I believe uh, they can they can get the job done. Okay. Yes. And uh, going into the future, you've achieved uh, a lot in uh, a short span of your rugby career. Uh, are there any ambitions that you still have that will, uh, that you still want to achieve as Jeff? Yeah, yes. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of ambitions I want to achieve as Jeff. Uh, I want to also go and uh, probably uh, showcase my talent out there. Probably get to uh, play the pro level kind of rugby, yeah. and uh, also to impact uh, the 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 gift God gave me that is uh, the talent. Yeah. Uh, also to to like um, channel it down to all these other young fellows coming up, yeah. uh, like. Um, get to, to probably start a rugby academy kind of stuff yeah. to 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 like uh, be able to give back to the community yeah. uh, rugby wise that is but uh, my, my main goal at the moment is getting to play pro rugby okay. and um, I'm, I'm taking the small boxes towards towards that okay. yes okay. and uh, taking speaking about uh, just taking the small boxes uh, anything that you do outside of the box uh, outside of rugby uh, Yo, is it just rugby that you're doing? Uh, at the moment, I'm just uh, I'm just all about rugby. Yes. Uh, to me, it's uh, sort of like a, a full-time full-time thing, you know. Yes. Uh, but uh, we, uh, I'm looking forward to to do a couple of stuff, yes. which uh, probably once I get everything sorted out, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be good to go. Okay. Yes. 
And uh, for your fans, how can they reach you on social media, 